Hi, I'm Nikki, the obsessive bookseller, and welcome to my channel. Today, I want to review Empire's Ruin by Brian Stavely. It's the first book in a continuation series from his Unhewn Throne trilogy, and for me, it was one of my most anticipated releases of the year. Now, the first book in the Unhewn Throne series, The Emperor's Blades, is one of my all-time favorite books. As much as I loved that one and a lot of things about the trilogy as a whole, the whole thing left me feeling somewhat unsatisfied. There was a character arc I didn't like, and while it was really climactic, I felt like there should be more. And now there is! It actually takes place relatively soon after the aftermath of the previous trilogy. Y'all know my memory sucks, and it has been a long time since I've read the initial trilogy, so I can say with confidence that you can continue on without having to do a reread, but this is tied closely enough that I would not consider it a new standalone series. You have to read the first ones first, unless you're one of those freaks who doesn't mind spoilers. Some things I really love about this author are his world building and setting creation. These books are set in a swampy jungle where the setting itself has just as much of an impact on whether characters live or die as anything else. And it's filled with a lot of cool creatures, a lot of dangers. The author really does a good job at immersing you in the setting and kind of making it come alive around the characters. I really like that about him. Another thing I liked, this author seems to have the same appreciation as I do for training sequences. And due to the nature of this new direction we're going, I was afraid that I wouldn't get as many training sequences and it would lessen my enjoyment from as much as I loved the very first book. But that's not the case. He managed to figure out how to incorporate more training sequences in this one, some really cool mini combat scenes, and so that was a plus. I now know this author is really consistent at producing the types of story elements that I really like. He also always incorporates a cool sense of discovery in his novels, things for the characters to unveil and discover, and that exploration aspect is really cool to read, and it was just as strong in this book as it has been. So let's talk about the three POVs for a minute. If anything knocked my rating off of a five stars, it was the fact that the three POVs, I feel, were not evenly distributed. Gwenna's POV stole the show. Her scenes were by far the most interesting, with lots of discoveries and lots of adventure. And unfortunately, the other two POVs, as critical as they were for showing us what's going on in other parts of this world, I feel like they were a bit of an opportunity missed. Um, there's an arena setting for one of the other POVs, and personally I thought that was so underutilized. There were so many things you can do in an arena setting, and the training that went along with that, but it took a back seat to a lot of dialogue and conjecture, and it just felt like filler pages. And then there's a third POV who will probably become more important in the future, but yeah, maybe one significant thing happened in that one throughout the entire novel. So for me, there's a bit of an imbalance. And as much as I enjoyed Gwenna's perspective, I was hoping to get a little more satisfaction out of the other two. So the, the series is young, and I'm assuming that we'll get a lot more strength from those characters in future books, but for evaluating this one as is, it left a little to be desired for me. But I'm still giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I loved every single other element of it. It was one of those books that certain scenes had me up well past when I was supposed to go to bed reading it. Overall, it's still one of the strongest books I've read this year, and I will be clamoring for the next one when it comes out. And now we get into the other books you might like. If you like The Unhewn Throne, you might like these other titles, and vice versa. The first one on my list is The Waking Fire by Anthony Ryan. For the same cool sense of setting and adventure, and yeah, 
This is one of my all-time favorites. It's a good comparison. The next one is The Thief's Gamble by Juliet McKenna. Kind of the same overall feel. This is a very underrated author, which I will be including in a future post on the topic. The Last Car's Dagger by Glenda Lark. For a similar approach to character and world building. Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames for overall sense of adventure, snarky characters, and Rage of Dragons for a similar atmosphere, lots of training sequences, and comparable character profiles. Thank you so much for joining me on this review, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye!